Okay, so this video is going to relate to simplifying equations, but before we really get into that, there's a few things we're going to have to go over um, before you can really start simplifying equations. Number one is the way you're going to see multiplication written because once you get in this type of algebra, every way you see multiplication written changes. They change it for whatever reason they want to. So. First of all, we need to check out a couple of different ways that multiplication can possibly be written. You're used to seeing multiplication written like this. Five times three. Or you might see it like this. Five times three. There's some more ways that multiplication can be written. You may see it written like this, using just a dot. Five times three. This is also a multiplication problem. Just because it does not have the X does not mean that it's not multiplication. If you see a dot like that between there, that means that those are being multiplied. Now, there's a difference between having this though. Now that is a decimal point. So don't get those confused. If it's down here, that's 5.3. This is saying five times three. You may also end up seeing it like this. You might have it in parentheses. If a number is in parentheses and there's a number outside of it, that means multiply it. So this is also an example of five times three. So these are all different types of ways that you'll see multiplication. So if we take that three, oh, let me get a different marker real quick. Okay, got a marker and I'm back. So let's say for our five times three, we use algebra and we say B is equal to three, right? So this could be saying five, times b. We could say 5b. But typically with algebra, the way you're going to see it, it's just going to be combined. It's just going to be combined. It is going to look like this. It is going to be 5b. And when they are right beside each other like that, that means those are being multiplied. So that means 5 times 3 because b is equal to 3. So 5b is equal to 15. So I want to go ahead and give you that heads up that multiplication problems are going to be written differently than what you have seen so far. So now for the other important part is knowing your order of operation. And there is a short hand for it. You can say PEMDAS, P-E-M-D-A-S. A lot of people say, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. That's what people use to help them remember it. But each of these stands for order of operations that you need to do whenever you're solving a problem. So I'm going to throw a problem up for you. And I'm going to show you how we're going to work through each of those. The P stands for parentheses. E stands for ex exponents. M stands for multiplication. D stands for division. A stands for addition. And S stands for subtraction. Okay? Now... Multiplication and division is the same thing. Addition and subtraction is the same thing. Okay, so when you're doing these in order, you do print these exponents, either multiplication or division, and either addition or subtraction. Okay, so let me get a problem up for you, and then we'll do it. Okay, so we have in a bracket. This is called a bracket. Looks like half of a rectangle. In a bracket. We have three times, in parentheses, eight minus four. In my bracket, times five. So we're gonna use this order of operations to help us figure this out correctly. So I'm gonna start with my parentheses, my parentheses. Now, you might wanna kinda of remember it like P, nut butter and jelly sandwich. You might kinda of remember like PB, because what I would do first is solve what's in my parentheses then solve what's in my bracket. So brackets are included in this, but solve what's in your parentheses first. So think about peanut butter and jelly within this PB. So 
I am going to solve what's in my parentheses first. Now, these are my parentheses. Kind of like wider, bigger C's. So, I'm going to do that first. 8 minus 4. Okay? 8 minus 4 is 4. So, you kind of want to keep the same problem. 3 times. Now, I'm getting 8 minus 4 is 4. So, I'm going to put 4 in my bracket. Times 5. So then, from there, I'm going to say, all right, I got my bracket. I'm going to solve what's inside my bracket. 3 times 4 is 12. Now I can get rid of my brackets. There's nothing else in there. So now i got 12 times 5. So, I don't have any exponents. My next part is multiplication. My next part is multiplication. So, um, I'm going to do 12 times 5. And if you don't know your 12 times tables or your 5 times tables, you can just do a problem like this. Five times two is 10. Put one up here, five times one is five, plus one more is six. So my answer is 60. So this is equal to 60. Now let's say I had added more to this, there was more to it. Let's say there was a minus 10 out here. Would I subtract that 10 first, or would I still multiply by 5 first? Going by my PEMDAS, going by my order of operations, multiplication and division takes place before addition and subtraction. So I would still multiply my 12 times 5 first and then get 60. Then I would just subtract 10 to get 50. So this will help you out with your order of operations. This is something you're just going to have to memorize. I'm going to put this chart up on my website along with this video. Hopefully seeing these different ways to multiply will help you out as well. Um, I decided I'm going to stop here and make a completely separate video kind of related to more of the simplification that you're seeing. So this is kind of intro to help you out to things that's going to be coming up. And I hope this helps you.